It's March 7, 2022. We're looking at the teaching. All my sins are forgiven on the cross, past, present, and future. There's nothing I can do. This teaching has individuals saying, I continue as a wretched sinner and I merit heaven, because Jesus did it all for me. So let's read what Jesus said, and I hope the Spirit speaks while we're doing this study. Remember, this is you understanding what the Lord requires of you. Not what any man thinks, not what any man teaches, but the living God himself, what he acquires of his saints. Here we go. We're looking at Matthew 13. I want to start at 24. Here we go. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in a field. But while the man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Now when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, does, didst not thou sow good seed in the field? From whence then has its tares? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said unto him, Will thou that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather together first the tares, bind them in bundles, and burn them. But gather the wheat into my barns. Matthew 13 at 36. Then, the, then Jesus sent, sent the multitudes away and went to the house. His disciples came to him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares in the field. And he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest of the end is the world. The reapers are the angels. And therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire. So shall it be at the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them that do iniquity. And it shall cast them into the furnace for fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as a sun, the kingdom of the Father. Who have ears, let him hear. Let's go back to the proverb that tells us what's offensive to God. Okay, let's do that. So you can kind of have a basis of what the Lord is saying here. We're in Proverbs 6. I'm actually going to go up a little bit more so you can kind of have an idea. We're going to start at 12. Okay, so we're in Proverbs 6, chapter 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walks with a forward mouth. He winks with his eyes. He speaks with his feet. He teaches with his fingers. Forwardness is in his heart. He dev devises mischief continually. He sows discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things does the Lord hate, or these are offensive to the Lord. These six things does the Lord hate, and seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imagination, feet that swiftly are running into mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, and he that sows discord among brethren. We just read 6, 12 through 19. The very first one of the six is a proud look. And the second is a lying tongue. A proud look and a lying tongue. Now I said go to the end of the book. You have to hear this also. The end of all things. Let me do this real quick. Okay, so he says, I am the Alpha. The Actually, I'm going to go up one more. Actually, I'm going to go up another one. He that is unjust, let him be unjust he, still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He 
He that is holy, let him be holy still. Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may be righteous. Wait, do it again. Blessed are they that have his Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter through the gates of the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loves and makes a lie. We just read Revelation twenty two twelve through 15. If you're going to continue in your offense to God, he's going to take you out of his kingdom and throw you into the fire. Jesus Christ is Lord. Obey him and seek him with a contrite spirit for holiness is required of you. Follow peace with all men and holy, holiness without no man will see God. We're talking Hebrews twelve fourteen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Seek him now. Shalom.